All right, guys, today we are going to be reacting to Andrew Educates with Facts, Woman Who Is Scared of Men. Jump in. Not particularly interesting. Okay. I mean, so there's... Yeah, I don't know the answer, but it doesn't... Yeah, it still validates my points that women are scared of men. So, yeah, the kind of talking point here from the feminist side is that, uh, well, wait, women are, women are terrified of men because it could get physically affected. Um, and we can kind of quibble over when it comes to DV and things like that, who's really a who. Uh, but I don't think that that would invalidate any type of fear when you say that, um, well, men are afraid of getting laughed at by women. No, they have other legitimate fears of women, like being falsely accused of certain things or being me too or any number of various things uh, which they run into with women. And those seem like they're just as legitimate a fear as... Uh, as women when they talk about uh, these other things, such as DV and, and things like this, so. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I think that tweet is like two years old, but I have since learned that, you know, a lot of men commit murders, but also a lot of men are also victims of murders, and a lot of violence is men on men as well, so. Thank you, Robert. My, um. And also woman on man. And yeah, this no, is, uh, absolutely. This is often overlooked that uh, when, we, when we're looking at the national statistic rates on domestic violence now, uh, you, you can make, make even a good argument that women are uh, participating in DV towards men even more than men are towards women. And uh, I can, if we got into, you know, SA stats, I could give you some good ones on that as well. Uh, but no, it's not really very cut and dry uh, when it comes to the stats of who's really doing what to who. Yeah, no, definitely, I would agree. And my opinion on that kind of stuff has changed as, I, as I've gotten a bit older, as I've been in like, the relationship that I'm in now as well and learned a lot more. Um, so I you have a, do you, do, it sounds like a man came in and just like... Fixed me. <laughs> now her brainwashed your bullshit. That's what it sounds like. Is no, that what happened? Yeah, like no. Some, some Jad came in and was like, listen, all this stuff that you're talking is bullshit and we need, we need to fix it. <laughs> is that I, what happened? I used to be incredibly wokey and but it was you know i was uneducated in that sense i didn't know much about politics and stuff but i had a what i thought was a good heart and i thought i was you know doing the right thing and fighting the good fight and all that kind of stuff but um no that's it's pretty accurate you know when i met my partner he definitely taught me a lot and you know i started to see the but world how it really is Pardon? Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Robert. You should fix that. You should fix ever calling him your partner. <laughs> Wait, what should... What nobody, ever, nobody ever wants to hear my partner. It's, it's awful. It's Maybe awful it's a British thing. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. Wait, but go back to... It's not a British, it's not a British thing. It is a language thing. The reason you, want, you say partners because you, you want to be inclusive. That's what it is. Tweet really quick. Just go pull it up to the top. Yeah, the top of it. Uh, men are afraid. So this is really the the more interesting one, though. Men are afraid women will laugh at them. This is the one, the the sort of feminist trope. Women are afraid men will kill them. I mean, it sort of downplays the amount of catastrophe women can inflict on men, mm -hmm. and sort of tends to paint all men as these predators mm -hmm. or violent or this sort of thing. I mean, typical feminist trope that uh, women are wonderful and men are uh, predators and this sort of thing, but. Mm -hmm. um, It'd, be, it'd kind of be like if a, if a man said, um, pull it back up really quick just so I can think of the, like a sort of counter. So women are afraid men will, hmm, well, sort of fucking the, um, chuck them and then what? pull it back oh, up, please pull it back up. Women are afraid women or w women are afraid that men will fucking chuck them and men are afraid that women will falsely accuse them of rape and then they'll spend 10 years in prison. It's just kind of like, okay, bro. Yeah, and one of the ways, uh, just a very quick analogy before he moves on that I often will use here is, uh, if you think about when you're walking down the street at night, if a group of men is approaching you, you very well may cross the street and I don't think anybody would blame you. Mm -hmm. But women seem to get very upset that men won't hire women, even though it's the same exact concept. Oh, the same exact concept is uh, this could really lead to a really bad outcome for me if I stay on the street where these men are approaching me. It's the same exact concept of this could lead to a really bad outcome for me if I hire females in my office place. Hmm. Good point. Mm. Good point. You like both it, oh. are scared from one another for certain things. It's just mm. human. 
in a uh, whole office though like only men or like yeah. certain positions the woman is not qualifying because i get that well well like any any mm. listen anytime a man ta hires a woman he's taking a risk that he would not be taking with a man mm. that that's is the true. truth that's true and with so the pregnancy because that and is true that's true um I understand why men guard themselves from this because of the reputational damage which can occur or the financial damage or even the prison which could occur from an, even an allegation which could cost him his entire company a livelihood that he would not have to deal with with men. So I understand why they would select for men over women when it came to any job. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is the same kind of logic that women have where they don't think that the men who are walking towards them necessarily are going to do anything to them. But why not be on the safe side? It's yeah. the same thing when men are hiring women, right? I'm not I'm not necessarily saying that she's gonna do anything, but why take the risk? Right. Yeah. But if you're a business owner, like you genuinely wouldn't take the risk at all, you know, just knowing that there are no. media outlets that are PC or whatever, like you just Would you wouldn't take the take... risk of the man of the uh -huh. men at night? No. So, no. I mean, I am a no. business owner. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm gonna right? be honest, like I'm a risk. business owner. I have taken a risk hiring a woman who well, actually ended up not you, being... But he's not, not talking about you, everything. You, he actually asked me. No, you, but... Okay, well, would you... Speaking in general. Okay, wait. Hang if on, it's a street... Let us finish our exchange. Yeah, if, if it was a street that I knew to be dangerous and it was dark, then no. Yeah, then no, right, exactly. Logically, so no. This, same yeah, with the this hiring. Is the same, uh -huh. this, well, this is the same kind of mindset that men have that when you it comes use to hiring for hiring. I see. They're thinking the same thing. They're not thinking that every woman's going to do this or even most... Uh -huh. Right? But yes. just the fact that wow. they're a woman adds to this potential, so it's a risk. Most men are not going to assault you at night. They're not going to. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm only even calling yeah, so, because I'm but, surprised so you're just, you're, men... So what you're doing is you're leaning on the side of, of caution, right? Yes, I agree. Wait, so are you saying that, that you don't think women should get hired? No, he's saying the uh, risk for him is just not no, worth you, it if you're you know, a business owner. Hang on, owner. hang on. Since I understand that you know a little bit about basic logic, uh, can you tell me the distinction between <laughs> an is statement and an ought statement? What is the difference between a descriptor and a prescriptor? Can you tell me the difference real quick? Wait, how is this relevant? Yeah, uh, what's the difference between a descriptor and a prescriptor? I forgot this lady right here was part of the podcast. My goodness. So here we go, folks. Here we go. I can't imagine me doing this stuff live. Well, it'll be kind of fun. When I get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to do my lives. Well, this is crazy. Reacting to stuff like this, man, it's... You learn a lot, right? Because you're learning a professional, right? Doing his job. But when you hear stuff like this, you don't... You don't know how to really reciprocate this because this is crazy. She's still playing games. She's still playing games. What are you like? A description versus prescription, because you just made an ought claim. So you're what you're saying is we ought to. No, ask? honestly, no. honestly, I did no, kind of grossly. I, gave, I, gave I did kind of grossly. Hang on, hang on. I gave two <laughs> descriptive claims. I gave two descriptors. Yeah. I did not give a prescription. So why did you assume an ought? Why did you assume that I think X needs to happen when all I did was give a descriptor for two things which exist? So Yo, wait, Robert what, Tanner, thank so you for the gift you of 50. Saying? You're just saying that it's like risky or what? Yeah, I'm saying that it, that men who hire women are taking more of a risk than if they hire men. And I think that women, if they're being approached by men at night, are taking more of a risk than men. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're descriptors. So you, do you where, think it's like you, okay where did you, to... Where did you get the ought claim of, so what you're really saying is this, where did that even come into your brain? Can you tell me the exact moment... <laughs> That though, so what you're really saying is actually came into your brain. I was I was being a little confrontational. I'm sorry. But you were about to say, do no. you think it's okay? What? Um, I was just trying to figure out like, because there's anti-discrimination laws about that sort of thing. Like, how do you feel mm -hmm. about those? Wait, okay. but you were no, no, no. You were about to say, do you think it's okay yeah. if what? Oh, um, I, I lost my train of thought. If uh, if if men don't hire women, do I think that that's okay? Yeah, just for the yeah, reason I that they're women. Yeah, I think it's woman. fine. Like, if every single male CEO didn't hire a woman, yeah, like, would, you, would you like it? Would you say that you like it? I'm curious. I, uh, I think that if... Like, uh, what do you think it's positive for society? 100%. Yeah, so I think if it could be demonstrated mm -hmm. that the risk uh, is, is highly mitigated, 
uh, somehow through some set course of laws or values. And now suddenly women don't pose more of a risk towards men in the workplace uh, who happen to be their superiors, then I would be fine with it. But since that is not the case, I have no problem with men selecting who they want to hire and who they don't want to hire. And by the way, who the hell are you, is anybody to tell anybody who they need to hire for their business anyway? It's none of your damn business. It's literally none of your damn business. If, if a man says, I don't want to hire any women just because they're women, why That's the hell fine. is that any of your business? I can't speak I guess it's from experience. experience. Because females do it all the time. You see a lot of these business, only business women, or only gym, only woman gyms, all this stuff, only, 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 only. Somehow a guy said, you know what? I just want to hire men, right? All of a sudden it's a problem. You see what I'm saying? It's My partner and I own a company and we now don't hire women because yeah. they mess us around so much. So we actually Bam. just... We yeah. avoid well, it's the same costs. thing in the content creation world. It's Here's a dirty value. secret, right? Many, many men, male content creators will not work with female content creators because of how many problems they cause inside of the uh, content creation space when it comes to slander, reputational mm -hmm. damage, allegations, all sorts of things for drumming up drama. It's a really bad idea. A lot of women in the female content uh, creator space also prefer to work with men over women because of this type of drama and slander which occurs so it doesn't surprise me a bit um and this is uh, this seems to be universalized uh, regardless of the industry it's uh, it's a much higher risk and so no so my answer very specifically is if men don't want to hire uh women am i for that yes absolutely so what is your take on the government's position what the government position on what? Because don't they on have affirmative like action on affirmative action for women and hiring status quo? Not it's all a bunch of woke actions. bullshit that's totally illogical and can't be backed up by any moral stance whatsoever. That's my take on it. Damn. <laughs> um, I meant the. Whoa! I love when Andrew goes real. When he goes real, he goes all the way in. Uh, anti-discrimination <laughs> laws when it comes to hiring. Yeah, I just told you. When it comes to anti-discriminatory laws, it's okay. none of the government's business what a private individual does mm -hmm. with their business and who they choose to hire is none of anybody's damn business and it never has been ever and saying that they need to have a quota like in california where if you have over 15 employees now suddenly we have to have a diversity quota not only is that unconstitutional or framers would roll over in their grave but i think it's immoral and what's more uh i've never heard a good justified argument for it other than but people, people were historically discriminated against. It's like, they're still discriminated against. It's just that now we have laws that they evade. They still don't want to hire women. They just try to evade the laws so that they don't hire women. Yeah. <laughs> I have one it's question like, though that came up. Um, like if you're a woman, let's say you are getting a divorce with your husband and you, you're, let's just say you discover this female lawyer that has a lot of cases in representing women in these divorce cases, then no. I think like we could even debate like in this case, would it be lower risk to hire this woman versus a man, like a random yeah, sure. man I divorce think that there's lawyer? There's going to be all sorts of isolated cases. Okay, Which because you, you said like universal to... across industries, and yeah, that's actually that what came up point... to mind. Uh -huh. Well, hang on. I'm trying to answer the question for you, right? So I think that you can point to all sorts of individual cases where it could be superior to hire a woman over a man, right? There's all sorts of those. <laughs> but that should be completely and totally up to the employer to make such a decision on okay. behalf of his firm. should not be up in any way, shape, or form to the government. It's none of their damn business what a person 100%. does with their firm and never has been any of their business what a person does with the firm. It's a bunch of woke progressive crazies who endlessly demand that such a thing be done. And it's not good for anyone. It's not good for society. It's not good for the workers. It's not good for the business. Well, that means you're not hiring the best. You're just hiring people based on a quota. That's what it is. It's not good for anybody. And it suppresses wages, well, by the way. There's, yeah. there's I, have a question question the, uh, I have a question for Andrew. for Andrew mm -hmm. so if yeah. there if you're a woman let's put you in a perspective of a woman and you're super qualified mm -hmm. for this job but this mm -hmm. guy doesn't want to hire you because you're a woman how would you go about that situation like how would you I feel would, personally I'd say that's freedom baby that's freedom right <laughs> aren't we all about freedom aren't Wait. we all about the freedom 
truly well, I would apply I, I have for a, work I have a question. So like, let's say you're a man who's never committed any crime. You would never strike a woman. You would never attack a woman. You'd never do any harm to a woman. And you are walking down the street at night and a woman's coming and then you see her and then she's like, crosses the street in fear in fear and you are made to feel like you're less than you're a predator there's this assumption that you would have you would have victimized her had she not done this how's the man supposed to i would just blame what the hell is wrong with her honestly but yeah, I, I don't know i just i guess <laughs> i mean you could say to that to point, point, like just play devil's advocate this. like you really just could go apply somewhere else just like how you know that man you know maybe he shouldn't feel like his feelings are hurt mm -hmm. I want, like I want maybe it. don't take Wait, it personal but I, I, really quick freedom. on that thing really quick on that thing uh -huh. like it's this interesting thing it's like well you know oh just his feelings are hurt but like what's worse a woman mm -hmm. doesn't get a specific job mm -hmm. or women paint yo let me just read this comment uh, JJ Matt said in the super chat, uh, feminism is the belief that women's, um, but JJ's can never smell bad. Women's sports are, are as good as male sport or even better. And women can also fight in wars because Wonder Woman is a movie. <laughs> Paint all men as predator violent rapists. I kind of feel Ooh, like one is worse than the other. Can I, I think a woman yeah, why, why not getting the work, job is Why worse? do they always want to work for a bunch of predators what? anyway? Why are we comparing <laughs> well, they're a bunch of predators and they're like, we can't wait to go work for them though. Well, that's like saying, why would you want to put food on okay, the table? Okay, really quick wanna, and then I'm going to move it on. I want to answer uh, this. First of all, it's not black and white. It's not all men predators and all women want to think that men predators because I've seen both sides, especially in the Middle East. So we have to, to take every case specifically. Yes, a lot of women nowadays, especially in America, complaining they use men, but in the other hand, they want to blame them and attack them. But if you have a really high qualified woman and you look at her history, she never complained of anybody. She come to work just to work. I would actually look at that case and yes, hire her. But if somebody who is sorry to say it, but younger would come and it's it's you know one of her first few jobs, right? And she goes really really by the book and she have this feminist mentality. I would not hire her. But you really need to select the people good. Mm -hmm. But you cannot classify people black or white in that specific matter because I think both of us, male and female, in both sides of the equation. A lot of men did rape women. A lot of men did do things. Not uh, irrelevant to the conversation. Totally irrelevant to the conversation. This is the type of conversation that's going to bring things back to zero. This is where you don't move in because we know we know guys can be a-holes. I understand, yeah. And we know females can be a-holes, okay? We understand. But can we get to the root of the problem? A lot of these things, a lot of these conversations that are not getting us anywhere. This is the problem. The problem that we have right now is just these kind of arguments the arguments of egalitarianism it's not black and white you know it's right in the middle you know you know all this stuff that doesn't get to uh, to uh to the root of the or the problem specifically here but in you know, other maybe places. if you hadn't been on your phone while austin was giving what? the pre-show instructions mind you took him to me you've you've been on the show three times you've heard the pre-show instructions three times we ask you not to use this word. What word? She doesn't even know. She's oh. been here three times. I, I, I in, fact, in fact, I scolded you on your first time on the show. We try to avoid these words because YouTube and these platforms tend to penalize you if you use these words. Oh. Anyways, for that reason, I have to move things on. Go ahead, Austin. Can we do the next tweet? All right, Ruby, can you read it, please? Uh, you want me to read it? Well, not that word, oh. just use okay. essay Jesus on that word. Christ. Okay. Oh. Uh, and is this wait, in? Wait, so if men stop, okay, yeah, you can read it. Just say grape, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Is this in response? I don't man, even... Brian, 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 bro, Brian's not feeling that lady, man. One thing is to be uh, an alpha, an alpha, and a dominant guy, but there's something here. It doesn't. What Brian's doing right now it doesn't feel okay. There's something. One thing is just to own them, they own females, right? But one thing is just to believe in them like that. Like I don't, I don't know. There's something. Something is not feeling right in that. It's back and forward with that lady. I don't know. There's something happened there, folks, behind the scenes that we don't know. Okay, if men stop killing and aring women, that would help. Not all men, but not enough men do it. My friend was kidnapped in her taxi, an R word. 
and I've been attacked by men on nights out, groped in clubs, friends have been followed home, the list goes on. So mm. I think that's a response to something and it is a true story. Mm. I mean, like I said before, I, I definitely don't have the same wokey opinion of, oh my God, men are this. Like I do think that's, you know, well, yeah. sure, a thing I that would, changes we, with age, but I do know. We, yeah, we, I guess we yeah. already kind of delved into the whole thing. But it's, it's very sad, like, the girl that happened to it. is. But I, I mean, like to Andrew's point, if like enough women create <laughs> conflict in the workplace, is it fair for the men to choose to not hire women then? Well, to yeah, and point. I know, like I said, plenty of women that won't hire women yeah, as well. Yeah, you don't hire yeah. women. No, yeah, yeah. It, because, and it's not even just that they cause conflict, it's that they call in sick more, mm -hmm. they yes. can't take yes. any criticism. Well, that's all conflict. Oh that's all causing well, conflict. Well, yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. Ah, oh, man, there's something going on here, like, uh, between Brian and this lady here. It's not feeling okay. I mean, Brian should have just handle this in the backstage in my opinion but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'll see you in the next one